So uh, I quit my job. I moved out of uh, my apartment. I was living in downtown Salt Lake. Um, and I bought this van uh, with a bed in it. There's a bathroom in the back and the sink. I have water. Everything I need is here. Um, and so far it has been amazing. I think everyone should do it, so. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of little things that you, like little systems you develop when you live in a small space like this. Just little tricks kind of, places to stow things, you know, one of, like for example, this little Ikea organizer. I have my propane heater jack for the van. Keep my phone up here. Yeah, I keep my camera gear and sleeping bag. And here's a heater and the bed folds all the way out to the other edge. Night vision goggles for security purposes. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> that works. There's 250 watts of solar panels on the roof. Wireless router, 4G internet access point. There's a 3000 watt inverter um, and then two big deep cycle batteries. It's a 1250 watt hour capacity battery. I have had a refrigerator in here and it just I can run it, but the cost in terms of power uh, was just too, it was like too much power and not enough benefits. I hardly used it. I have a portable generator in case I need it, but I've only used it once, so that's awesome. These are all my books that I travel around with. I have some great classics like Thoreau's Walden, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, Edward Abbey, Desert Solitaire. These are all like good um, move into a van books. It's like all little tips and tricks about how to live a portable lifestyle. And so these are like the gospel of living portably. Just tons of awesome. Here's how to build a bridge in case you need that. Here's how to wire up uh, your solar panels. What to do when you encounter bear cubs. Stuff like that. So this, these, like if you want to know a lot of tricks, get these. Available for Microcosm Publishing in Portland, Oregon. Thing under the bed, there's a 40 gallon water tank right here. And there's a water pump in the closet that feeds the sink in the back, the toilet uh, so it can flush, and the shower. 40 gallon fresh water, nine gallon black water, and I don't know, 20 gallon gray water. I hardly ever fill it up. I usually just let it drain onto the street. Uh, I'm very like, reliant on technology. I use Google Maps and I try to use all the Yelp and everything. I use apps that tell me where I can park for free overnight, where I can find places to dump my black water and get fresh water. Yeah, there's a propane water heater in the back, but uh, I've never once even used it. Okay. You just shower with the cold water? Yeah. Okay. It's usually hot enough in the van that it feels great. And this is like a necessary little box yeah so like the propane gets stored in there and anything that might like if it spills i don't want the whole van to smell like gasoline or whatever i was living a path that was sort of expected you know of me like grow up go to college go on a mission i was raised mormon so i uh, did that i went on a mormon mission i went to college lived in provo did the whole thing um, and then got a career and uh, it was fine and you know there were things about it that made me happy um, but I hadn't really ever explored other options other ways to live um, and I I realized that I could really downgrade and get rid of a lot of junk that I had that I really didn't need and if I did that I would have to work a lot less and I would have a lot more freedom and I think anybody can do it and it's just a better more happy more fulfilling way to live.